Hi guys, I had an idea about wheels for my car projects. Uh, rather than using CDs all the time, I thought I'd see if there's anything else I could use. And I had this idea about using the spools from the VHS tapes, because these are scrap nowadays. Um, I actually had trouble trying to find any. went down to my charity shops and most of them had none at all. Uh, the one that I did find them in, they'd actually got them in a box by the door saying, please take these for free. Um, and being the kind-hearted soul that I, w I am, I did actually take them, but I did leave a deposit um, for the charity. So, I'm going to see if I can take these apart and see what the, the spools that hold the tape are like, see if they're going to be any use to use as wheels for car projects. I'm very sorry for anybody who is diligently going through collecting VHS tapes and carefully transferring the video to their computer or their DVD or whatever because I'm not going to attempt to save the tapes. I'm just taking them apart so I can actually get the spools out from inside. So let's have a look. Some of them I've noticed have um, anti-tamper screws, but looking at this one I can see straight away it's just an ordinary crosshead screw. So with a bit of luck it might come apart easily. go a circle of plastic which I can use as a wheel. It's even got a toothed edge to it that potentially I could uh, use for something extra grip or maybe even drive it with another toothed wheel to have a driven wheel. So there we are that's our first VHS tape taken apart and we got a couple of plastic wheels. Now that I've got these uh, spools out of a VHS cassette, um, I'd better try and make a, a car and, and use them as wheels. So first thing I'm thinking of doing is actually splitting it so that I get two pairs of wheels out of the one spool. And I'm looking at this and I think I can probably, where it's the plastic's been melted to seal them together. I should be able to just drill them out and that should just pop off. So I will give it a try. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully that's... Uh, Drilled the heads out, so I might be able to just loosen it up. What I don't want to do is crack the plastic. Otherwise it's a bit of a pointless exercise. There we are. So that's nice. So that's one wheel. And that's going to be the other wheel. I need to drill a hole in the middle now. Actually, pre drilled a small hole. Let's just widen it up a bit. Okay, the plan is to make a little balloon powered uh, jet car. Um, only because that would be nice and simple. I'm going to fold up a bit of cardboard to make a chassis glue some drinking straws either end of it, use a bit of um, garden cane as the axles, and hot glue the wheels onto the axles. So the 
let's have a look what we've got. This bit of card's 150 millimetres wide, so half of that's 75. Right, I actually want to bend along these lines, so I'm going to score them with a ball pen. Make it easier to bend. them up, stick them on the outside, same there, outside or inside, what do you think? Not going to make a lot of difference. Do we use hot glue or do we use sticky tape? Let's use hot glue. I like hot glue. have to wait for that to warm up. Right, the idea is I'm going to that's a, another pen tube that I've cut the end off. I stick that on there, stick it through a hole, blow it up, and obviously with the wheels on it, that should push it along. So uh, we need a hole at the end. I've left a little flap there because I might wrap a rubber band around it to hold it in place. That was hot glue gun. Not quite ready yet. Okay. Just tape them on the bottom. them up, make them a little bit wider, something like that. How long is my... hundred and eighty, so if we go ninety, yeah that's just long enough. suits me. Two axle tubes out of one straw. Come on hot glue gun. That's better. Outside inside. Can't really see that it makes much difference. OK, 
actually, so that's our car body. Shall we risk hot glue in that, or do you think it might melt the plastic? Give it a try, if we're wrong, we'll have to do it again. He's a bit bent. It's also a bit loose on there. Shall we worry about it or should we just hot glue it? I think for the sake of this experiment I'll just hot glue it and live with it being a bit loose. Right, that's both sides of that done okay. Now we'll do the other wheels. I think I'll glue that one on first. Glue gun would be handy. seconds to cool down. I think I'll just uh, sharpen that so it fits in easier if I can find my pencil sharpener. Get that fairly straight. Make sure we've got a little bit of freedom of movement and play. Okay, looking good. Let it cool down for a few seconds. While we're doing that, let's hold the rubber band on there. Sorry, to hold the rubber balloon on there and wrap a rubber band around it several times. That's good. Feed that through there. too much. Let's just wrap that over there a few times. That's just to stop it blowing back through. Okay, we have a technical problem tonight. I've changed out the lights in my kitchen to LEDs and to the normal eye they look fine but through my camera here they're flickering terribly. So I'm having to use different lighting. So um, well, I hope it works, but it's uh, it's not going to be as clear as my kitchen normally is. Okay, here's the car, which I can see is in shadow now. That's not very helpful. Um, we'll carry on. I'll blow me balloon up, and we'll see how it goes. It's not the 
biggest balloon I've got, but it'll have to do the job. we go, the length of the kitchen, using wheels made from a VHS cassette, tape cassette. Okay, time for a summary. What we have here is a balloon powered car, a balloon powered jet car, I suppose you could call it. Um, the wheels are made from the tape spools from the inside of a VHS tape cassette. I've actually split the spools in half, so that's one half of the spool, that's the other half. Um, I've glued them onto, I've used garden cane, you could have used a skewer or something like that. Um, hot glued them onto there. I've used plastic drinking straws as the axle tubes. I folded up a bit of cardboard to make the chassis and the balloon. I've used rubber bands to connect it to a plastic tube. That's actually a tube off of a pen. Um, I put another bit of rubber band on the outside so it doesn't get blown through, although actually it's quite stiff on there so it probably wouldn't anyway. And that's it. A fairly simple balloon powered car. I'll put the um, components on the list on the video description. That was a success. That was fun.